Are you at the point where you're hearing that sound in your sleep? It's called clickinitis, and there's help. So you've been a good trooper, and you've been practicing whatever scales or riffs you need to work on to get them up to speed, and you're working with a metronome, but you are starting to hear that thing in your sleep, and it's driving you crazy. Um, I, as I talk about in other lessons, like to practice things with jam tracks so that I can make them uh, more musical. But the problem with the jam track is it's in whatever key it's in and you're stuck with it. So rather than using a click, if you want to kind of take a step in between the click and the jam track and have something that you can adjust, I have this free piece of software called Chord Pulse. Uh, the sound you're going to get out of it is going to be like very Casio keyboard kind of thing. It's not, you're not writing songs with this thing, but it is definitely giving you a format that you can practice with that uh, is a lot less boring than a click. Let's take a look at it. The main things with it are the styles, of course the tempo, which is very important, which uh, increments in fives. I prefer it did twos uh, or fours even. Jumping by five when you're at the limit of your ability to play something can be a bit of a jump. And then of course the key that you're in. And then down here is where you set the chords. I usually do like a, a four chord pattern and then play over that. Uh, you can hear here, I'll just hit play. Yeah, you hear it's like, you know, cheap. <laughs> but, again, good to practice too. So I'm going to do something here. We'll set it in the key of G major. Now, obviously, with it just showing the number of sharps and flats, you're not calling out the key by the name, so you kind of have to know some theory to set the key you want, or just leave it at zero and do everything in C major when you're practicing whatever it is. All right, so I'm setting this to G major, one sharp. We'll leave it at 120. I'm going to set up chords here. You double-click on the little chiclet. I'll start with, I want to do the relative minor, E minor, make it more rock. So E minor will be the first note. I'll go to C. I will go to G. I'll go to D. Let's hear what that sounds like. Yeah, I can practice to that. Let me try a different style here. We'll hit the rock and roll style, see what that sounds like. No. Let's try airy rock. Sounds a little more like something I practice too. And you can take the chords out too if you have the keyboards. Just kind of, you just want a bass and drums. You just drop them out there. You got a simple pattern here. Now, say I'm working on like a three note arpeggio. And you just jump the tempo up a bit at a time you know, when you're near your limit of whatever speed you can play. Uh, I'll put it at 160. Yeah, and you're writing it down in your notebook like I talk about in another lesson, which I have a link below. And now, instead of just doing it with that click every day, you can load this thing up and you kind of, you can jam with it to the... Do the thing you're practicing, jam a little more. It's more interesting. Might help you learn faster too. Gives you a little more context to play in as well, and you'll start to find that it's easier to integrate what you're working on into a song. Um, rather than just when you work with a click, which makes you a little bit stiff. So if you want to download the software, you just go to chordpulse.com, and it's available for free. There's a paid version with some more styles and sounds, uh, but for the purposes of what we're doing with practice, the free version is just fine. And as always, I hope you get a lot of use out of what I'm talking about, and it helps you make better music. See you next time. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.